right, guys, let's get into some NBA player props for Friday, December 16th. We're going to get right into it. Two and three is a group last night. That can't happen. Uh, we're going to come back tonight with winners. Teeth not able to be here. He's at work early this morning, but he went 0-1 one, oh one last night. Uh, and he's sticking with one pick until he gets back on track. That pick for tonight is going to be De'Aaron Fox over 34.5 PRA. I will say Fox got back on track last game. Uh, he had 43 uh, points, rebounds, and assists. So I don't hate it tonight. Trey, you have anything on him? Yeah, 43 PRAs against the Raptors, who have one of the best defenses in the league, is impressive. So I think it's pretty easy to say that we expect it to continue against the lowly Pistons. Yeah. So I love that play for Keats. It sucks that he's not here, but we're going to send him some positive vibes for this pick. Yes. Yeah, he, he needs he needs those positive vibes. He, he was down on the dump this morning. He's, he hates losing, and he hates giving out losers to our He was. Players. And and if you guys just want to drop in the comments, give Teed some positive words of encouragement. He was really down on the dumps, but he's a great guy. He puts in a lot of work. He just got some bad bounces. Yep. But uh, I'm going to go next. Uh, last night I went 2-0, now on a 12-2 and run. Let's go. Um, I won C.J. McCollum over 18.5 points. Uh, we knew he would have a bounce-back game against the same team, the Jazz. And scoring, and he did. He scored 28. And then Kelly Olenek over seven and a half rebounds and assists, which got scary, but he got it late in the fourth. Um, I have two plays for tonight. My first one's going to be Jaden Ivey over 14 and a half points. Now, this number is high for him, but I'm taking it anyway. Ivey has already played the Kings once this year, and he scored 24 points. The Kings allowed teams to shoot 37% from three point range, and Ivey likes to shoot the three ball. Uh, in his last game against the Kings, he went four, four from three, and I expect him to have a repeat performance tonight. Ivy also has been shooting the ball more frequently. He's taken 11.6 shots per game over his last five games. So if you have to figure he makes five of those 12 shots, two of those from three, and his over is already cashed. And that's not counting his free throw attempts, which he's averaging four attempts in his last five games. That was a lot of numbers thrown at you guys, but I still like the Ivy over 14 half points in this game tonight. My second prop is going to be James Harden over two and a half three point shots made. Usually I'd be on his assist, but in this game, I like his threes. Harden has hit over two and a half threes in all five, uh, five straight games, uh, and he shot an average of 8.4 threes per game in those in that five-game stretch. Uh, the main reason I'm taking this tray is because Steph Curry, Clay Thompson, and Jordan Poole will be firing away threes, and I just feel like Harden is the type of player who's going to get caught up in that and trying to one-up everybody on the court. Uh, that's just my opinion on him, but I think if Steph and Clay make a couple threes in a row, Harden's going to try to match. So that's going to lead him to take more threes in this game. So I like his over two and a half threes tonight against the Warriors. Trey? Yeah, Steph is ruled out. He's going to be out for a couple weeks. He got injured with a shoulder injury last game. But yeah. we do know that the Warriors yeah. still love to shoot up threes. So right. I still love that play for James Harden. I think it's going to be a highly contentious game. I was looking at the James Harden threes oh. as one of my picks. And the Warriors do allow the third most three pointers per game, so I do love that pick for James Harden. I like, Jaylen, it even, I like it even more that Steph's out now. Now he's going to be the Steph of this game. So that's I good. love that. And uh, yeah, and I was also looking at the James Harden assists, but they have it at ten, and I love nine and a half. I don't like ten. I don't like pushers. Give me the half. But I'm going to give you my two, and I'm going to kind of back um back what Jesse said about Jaden Ivy, but I'm going to go with the assists, and I'm going to go. With my boy Killian Hayes, I think he's going to be distributing the ball a lot. And some of them might go to Jaden Ivey, so we might get, you know, a Killian Hayes assist coming to a Jaden Ivey bucket. So a two-for-one special, I love that. Hayes has been the team's primary ball handler and playmaker with Cade Cunningham being ruled out for the season. I'm really bummed about that. I'm a big Cunningham fan, but Hayes has really taken this uh, this job and really ran with it. Hayes is one of the best ball distributors in the NBA, in my opinion. Coming from France, he was really a high-touted draft prospect because of his passing and because of his playmaking ability. And since taking the starting job over, Hayes has averaged over eight assists per game. So I love the six and a half assists for Killian Hayes. Like Bear said, this game should be really high scoring. So I think Hayes is going to have a lot of opportunities to get some assists. And I'm going to move over to the points. I got two points props. Everyone knows I hate Jason Tatum. Everyone knows I love hammering the under on him. But do you know what? I did some research, actually, and he has been a dog at home. So I'm going to go over the 28 and a half. I am a little worried that they are playing the Magic, but the Magic have been a little bit more competitive here of lately. And I am a little worried about it being a home game for the Celtics because the Magic don't really travel that well. But they have a lot of young guns, and maybe they'll step up to the plate against the Celtics tonight. 
But Jason Tatum, like I said, has been a dog at home. In his home games this year, he's averaged 31.9 points per game. In his 12th home games, he's only not scored 29 points three times, 23 points against the Wizards, 27 points against the Thunder, and 14 points against the Heat. So he has been an absolute monster at home. So I'm going to hope this continues. And Tatum's coming off that huge 44-point game against the Lakers. So I'm hoping it continues for him. And the Magic are the fourth worst defensive rating team in the NBA. So Tatum's going to have a lot of opportunities to put the ball in the hoop. So I'm going to hope that, you know, if the Celtics blow out the Magic, I hope it's because of Tatum. And if they don't blow him out, Tatum's going to play the full game. and He's going to have a great chance to get the 29 points. And then my last play, I love this guy. I don't know if I love him as a person, but I do love him as an NBA player. He is really fun to watch. I'm talking about Kyrie Irving over 22 and a half points. We all know that he is one of the best scorers in the league. So this is kind of a disrespectful line, especially since maybe they're banking that the Raptors are going to shut him down. But if you look at the game log, they played December 2nd. Kyrie Irving scored 27 points against them. So I don't think that Kyrie Irving's really worried about the box in one defense or whatever Nick Nurse is going to throw at the Nets tonight. In his last five games, Kyrie Irving's averaging 27 points per game. You can see that right there on the game log. And in his last three games versus the Toronto Raptors, Kyrie Irving has averaged 28 points per game. So he loves playing them. He loves going over to Canada and showing them, hey, I'm still one of the best NBA players. I know you guys don't get to see me all that much, especially last season because of the whole COVID thing. But it's been the Kyrie and KD show, and I kind of expect that to continue tonight against Toronto. So those are my three plays. Kyrie Irving over 22.5 points. Jason Tatum over 28.5 points. And Killian Hayes over six and a half assists. I went 0 2 yesterday, so I'm hoping to turn it around for you guys. You guys deserve better. So those are my three plays. Yeah, and and you love taking Tatum Thunder, so I'm glad you're on his over tonight. But uh, yep. I'm also going to add a play. Um, I forgot uh-huh. he was. On, I was forgot he was on the card. Uh, I take him every time he's on the card since December 8th. It's going to be Damian Lillard over 27 and a half points. I, I was wondering him, what was going on with you. Yeah, I you called a permanent lock on him two weeks ago. Uh, every time he's on the board, I get him no matter what. So I'm going to take him again tonight, over 27 and a half points. He, he's just so good. I have to take mm-hmm. him every time. Until, until he gets the under, I'm going to take him every time. But uh, those are my three plays now. But all right, guys, that'll do it for our NBA player props for Friday, December 16th. If you guys enjoyed the content, please make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel below. We'll see you guys next video, and thanks for watching.